The engine is leaking diesel. You can't run the engine like this. The rudder seems like it's fucked. The number one cause for most boats that are lost at sea is rudder failure. When the sun rose the next morning, I just had to accept the fact that not just the entire expedition in peril, but we ourselves are now drifting aimlessly in the ocean with a busted engine. The expedition was on the verge of being in complete ruin. Hello, Chris. I'm calling you from a satellite phone in the ocean. Oh, fuck me. This is Maddie. It doesn't sound like somebody named Chris. I'm about 80 miles south of Rhode Island uh, in the ocean, though we're kind of spilling diesel. We can't run the engine. And uh, I also have a bit of a rudder bearing issue that needs to get sorted out that involves being hauled out to do it. It wouldn't be very long. We're highly motivated to get back in the water and get going. Um, but I'm sort of uh, running out of options for possible places that could potentially haul this boat. Uh, 10 days would be as soon as they could haul us. Do you know what their uh, phone number is? Hello? dropped a call. Uh, the boat name is Marie Tharp, fuel dock. Okay, all right, thank you, sir. Bye. Fuck yeah. Now we just gotta get a new rudder bearing, figure out what the hell's wrong with it, get a freaking injector hose that's extremely difficult to find, and um, work some miracles, get back in the water and go to Greenland before we run out of time. Yeah. Just that simple, folks. Mm -hmm. Got a lot to do today. We call this marina. This marina was on top of it. They came out with a boat, they tied off to us, they drug us in, and we get in the slip, all hands on deck. There must have been 30 guys at this marina helping us get the boat out of the water. It's out of the water. It is a relief, but this is where the hard part really begins, which is, okay, you're here. Now you gotta fix all the problems. We have found an injector line. They have one of them in Virginia, just randomly. We'll buy it today, they'll mail it out. We'll have it on Monday. The engine should be fixed at that point. And then the bearing is the next issue. We have a potential name of a company that made the bearing originally, although the guy's 95 years old. He can't remember the exact name, but it starts with a V, he says. Well, you get the depth sounder working again, which just decided to kill itself as we came in. All these things take fucking two to three weeks to do, and we got to do it in a week, so. No, it's like miracle worker shit. We only had one half can of sauce. We need to locate the other sauce. Our shaft's got to be over 100 pounds alone. And then there's the steel of the rudder. So yeah, three, 400 pounds, probably. I don't know. We'll deal with it. Ain't no thing. We have to lift the boat in order to get the rudder out so we can fix the bearings. Well, we tracked down the material called visconite to make the bearings out of. We got a chunk of it in Maine that we could get overnighted. Keep going, Sharon. I just call them every like 10 minutes. I'll call them until their head explodes, their phone catches on fire. Okay, all right, perfect. Yeah, I'll just stand by and wait, and in the meantime, I'll knock these bearings out the best I can. We knocked these bearings out. They've been in there for 20 years, but there was about a four or five day wait for this visconite to come from Maine. I just, I just like to be the Matt Rutherford. He gets confused for the Matt Rutherford. He's like the shorter, uglier, Wimpier brother. When when do you anticipate your first win to come? I think pretty soon. Like I could have won that game if I, if you wouldn't have been better than me, <laughs> which I don't. But you know, like it, it it was it was there. Like it was there. I could have won. Mm. She fits. Now so. you just gotta get a rudder in there. Put it all back together and go in the water and go to Greenland. And then what? Hit a rock, sink in a fjord, everybody dies. <laughs> At least the cameraman. I mean, you know, the rest of us will be alright. But we'll remember you, Phineas. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hi, to Rudder Barons. So I've been waiting days to get this 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 can I get the bearings, get them cut, get them in place, and we pay the yard to come lift the boat. Bunch of guys come, lift the rudder into place. We get it all set up, we're ready to go, we're amped up, we're excited, and it doesn't fit. Yeah, it's not working. 
Hey, Dominguez. Can you, can you come out to the north field and take a look at this runner? Those that holes it's not lining up on this side don't match up with those side. holes. That's what's so happening. Rather than it being a, like, even and it's very bad if we just even for us. To buy Luckily, the marina was able to take the lower bearing and recut it. They didn't think they'd be able to do it, but we left, we came back, the bearing was in place, the rudder was on, and it's up, it's fixed, we can go. All right, let's get the hell out of here. On to the next set of issues. 10 feet off a of port. So there has been an update to the GP update GPS, to the GPS scenario. Mm, scenario. The secondary GPS. The secondary GPS, GPS the Garmin, Garmin is now, now gonna be isolated, isolated from the system. system. And it will be used for a different <laughs> laptop, laptop for the, <laughs> for the uh, acoustic, current acoustic Corinthium. <laughs> it's the depth sounder, which died on the way in here. Uh, the company Ray Marine Technical Support told me that it was the sounder module and not the transducer through doing diagnostics. Uh, so we replaced the sounder module. I'm, I'm not reading it on here. Well, the top of the transducer don't look right. It was all smashed up. That's it. That's all. That's all we're gonna have to find. But that sucks. So that's the case. That means you got to do a short haul somewhere to put a effing transducer in. I decided at that time we were gonna have to go to Canada. We're gonna have to haul out somewhere in Nova Scotia, and I don't know where that is, and I don't know how that's gonna happen. But I know one thing for sure: we're running out of time, and we have to leave. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. You're gonna get a cast uh, yeah, of the face. Bar. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. And please support us at oceanresearchproject.org, our Patreon, or click the link below.